To many international leaders and Mideast observers, the Abraham Accords seemed impossible just a few years ago. But the historic peace agreements are gaining more acceptance and regional support. This group of international diplomats are getting an up-close look at Jerusalem's Western Wall and Temple Mount. Former Israeli ambassador to the UN, Danny Danon, brought them here after spending several days in the UAE in Bahrain. We are all very proud of the Abraham Accord that was signed by President Trump, Prime Minister Netanyahu and leaders from the Gulf. Today we see the fruits of those agreements. We took a delegation of uh, senior diplomats, including the Vice President of uh, Paraguay, Minister of Foreign Affairs, for an eight days trip to the UAE, Bahrain and Israel. We feel that it's an important accord, but we can do much more with other countries. And the goal of this trip is to show the world the potential of the work between Israel and moderate Arab countries. Paraguay's vice president felt the trip provided deep meaning for him. Being in the Holy Land is always important for every Christian, and so is the legacy that Danny Danone is passing on to us. We see that it's possible to have peace between human beings. The likely renewal of the Iranian nuclear deal, plus the regime's threat to Israel and the Gulf states, cast a shadow over the visit and the region. A Bulgarian ambassador sees the region separated into two camps, one of war and one of peace. I never came here to Jerusalem on a flight from Arabic country. Yesterday I did that. What I think will happen in the future is that the initial interaction between Israel and the Arabic countries, human-to-human -human interaction, uh, cultural interaction, uh, tourism, I'm sure will go farther to the next stage where uh, Israel and the Arabic countries will cooperate in the field of security, international security, and will reinforce the camp of peace. For this Croatian ambassador, the trip expanded her view of the regional accords. This trip gave me the opportunity to learn about um, uh, Emirati and Bahrain perspective of the Abraham Accords. And after this visit, I believe that there is a same level, the highest level of dedication uh, for um, all three sides for peace, prosperity and uh, stability in the region that uh, and even uh, wider than that. The trip also opened up new opportunities. The Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Central African Republic, she signed diplomatic relations with Bahrain during the visit. The Vice President of Paraguay announced that they will open an embassy in the UAE. So we see the fruits of the accords and I believe that we'll be able to do much more, not only here and in the region, but worldwide. In addition also, it gave me opportunity to see and to explore the possibilities of uh, joining to this uh, ambitious project. I am certain that there is a wider possibility for the countries like Croatia to join in certain niche and cooperation and to contribute to the project and also to contribute to my country. It makes a difference for uh, everyone, this is my impression, and it can also make specific impact for countries like Croatia. They were amazed because for years, and I know it from the UN, when you say Israel, the Middle East, you think about a conflict. And all of a sudden they came to the Middle East and they saw solutions. They saw that we can actually help them to resolve conflicts. We can help them to improve the lives of their citizens in terms of food security, health, agriculture. Oh